Theater, working with the Peace and Prosperity in Action Movement, and it's just been my pleasure so far to be on board with the movement that we're trying to do here in Nancy, and we're trying to take this further to Nancy, even take it to outside of Michigan, anywhere we can touch other lives and help them also there too. I'm a little nervous, but after Mr. just gave his speech, I know God got me in his favor, and he's here with me, so all that nervousness is going to go away pretty soon. I would also, at this moment, like to Go ahead and introduce Peace and Prosperity to the Action Movement. Um, these individuals, since I've come on board as well, I've learned a lot from them. And you know, we can learn from our young people because you know, I mean, you can learn from me and I've learned from them and they taught me a little bit of some things that I didn't know when I was growing up or what they didn't have to do. So it's my pleasure being on board with the group and thanks Angela for partnering with LCC because if you did not would be here.
mean, I really learned a lot, and it was a really great experience. Thank you for listening to Peace and Prosperity. Presentation about who we are and what we did this summer. Before we end, we would like to thank Ms. Cameo King for helping us this summer. Thinking they must have the answer. 
they're looking to little Lansing, Michigan, thinking we might come up with something. And folks, we might come up, we ought to come up with something. I believe we will. I believe the leadership in this room and that's out there that's been involved in MBK will come up with things that other communities can learn from. Uh, we are, in essence, the laboratories. Uh, the other day, James Fallows spoke to us in Albuquerque to mayors. He's a writer at The Atlantic, and he's been all around the world. He's written from all over the world, and now he's going to cities around the country. And he said that the cities are the laboratories of democracy. He said it used to be the states were considered laboratories of democracy. You remember that, Tom. Uh, the states were the laboratories of democracy. That was a big deal. But now, James Fallon says, the new laboratories of democracy. How, how much time did you give me? Uh, <laughs> as much time as you need, but Mayor. James this is your Fallon thing. says that the new laboratories, this is hot off the press. Nobody's written about this. I just happen to be here to hear it. He says the new laboratories of democracies increasingly are the cities. Because a lot of the states, not necessarily Michigan, but a lot of the states have been hit with this cutback, these cutbacks, or kind of this tea party mentality where they're just cutting everything back. And so now the cities are the places that have to be innovative and creative and really dig deep and come up with some of the solutions. Uh, so he and others are looking to cities. In fact, he wrote a whole article uh, I, I put on my Facebook a while back about uh, never mind telling your kids they can grow up to be president. He said you should tell your kids you can grow up to be mayor. Actually, he said that's what you should tell your kids because mayor is so much more exciting. I'm, not, I'm just saying what he said. <laughs> I'm not saying you should run for mayor right away. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm very excited about this initiative. Just as the president is, you know, we could have said from the beginning, and we did. Where's the money? You know, this is a great idea the president has. He wants to go, he wants to move upstream. He wants to be preventative. He wants to be proactive. We do too. But where is the money? We could have said, without the money, we can't even get started. But we were encouraged to dig in and start the process, invite people. And we had the faith and the confidence that if we work the plan and we just go at it, that uh, we will then be able to find the money. When we find what's necessary, when we develop the plan, that hopefully we will have the initiative built in, we'll have the commitment built in, and we'll be able to go out and find the money. Because unless you have a plan, unless you have a convincing uh, product to sell, why should somebody give you money? So that's a big part of what MDK is about. Here we are celebrating our one year anniversary. When we started, Angela can tell you, I was like, I don't know how we're going to do this. I was, I was a follower in this. You know, sometimes people think, well, you're the mayor. You're supposed to lead everything. That's not true. You all are the leaders. This initiative, it was designed to be from the ground up. It was designed to be at the grassroots. So in this movement, I'm proud to be a follower. I'm proud to follow Angela. I'm proud to follow MBK. I'm proud to follow the president because I do want different results. Your chief of police wants different results. Your school board wants different results. We want better. We're proud of this community. Lansing has a lot to be proud of, but we're not in no way ready to rest. We're not resting. We know we can do better. And the goal, you've got a lot of firsts, Angela, you accomplished. I mean, the Peace, Prosperity, and Youth Movement that was here, kudos to them. Uh, we're one of the first, we were one of the first out of 200 communities that accepted the MBK challenge. And I'm still not sure what all you got me into. Uh, so I want to say happy anniversary to us. We should pat ourselves on the back for a minute, but we're not done. So I want to thank Angela for her leadership, thank Neon, One Love Global, the Power of We Consortium, AmeriCorps, Vistas, all the people, like I can say, everybody in this room who answered the challenge, who answered the call. These are people who are not satisfied with the status quo. We're proud of Lansing, but we're not satisfied with the status quo. We know we can do better. And personally, to me, that means believing in opportunity and success of all of our citizens, especially all of our young people. It means leaving no one behind. It's what my wife has always believed as a teacher and an educator, that every student can learn, every student will learn. And we need to have that approach for our young people, that all of them can have a bright future. We're not content to leave anybody behind, and we're not content with these numbers, these arrest numbers, these court numbers, and so on. We know we can do better, and we're willing, uh, ready, and able to move 
upstream and do better. So again, I look forward to continuing to follow your great leadership. It is about change. Uh, MBK is here to challenge. I've learned this from Angela. MBK, I don't know if this is in your mission, but MBK is here to challenge, to question, to agitate, to research, to work, to innovate, and ultimately to create change. Change does not come easy. It does not come fast. Uh, it is difficult, but together we can make change for the better happen in Lansing. And we can set the example. We can be that laboratory for success that other cities will learn from. Thank you so much.